Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper, and this is going to be a research video. If you are new here and not familiar, my research videos are studying different topics or items that sell for high dollar in the last 90 days on eBay. I will show you both auctions and buy it now. And today what we are doing is earrings. But when I did the search for earrings, a lot of them were jewelry sets that included necklaces, brooches, bracelets. So it's really going to be an overall of jewelry, but they will all have earrings. So <laughs> that is the caveat. So going to show you some different sets. And if you found the earrings by themselves, they would still be very valuable. Today, I'm going to do a $1,000 and up. And next Sunday, I will do... $500 and up. And then if we want to go lower, we will. So let's go ahead, take a look at earrings and different jewelry sets that sell for big money. Most of these are going to be sets. But if you find the earrings, they by themselves will be valuable. I am really bad about thinking all earrings are not worth money. I I have had a few like Chanel, Christian Dior. Those I know, but there are a lot of other earrings worth money that I probably have neglected over the years. So I would like to share those with you. Again, this was a suggestion from one of you. If you'd like to give me a suggestion on research videos to do, please feel free to do so down in the comments. And let's go ahead and take a look at these high dollar earrings and jewelry sets. We are starting out with a name you are all too familiar with, I am sure, if you've watched any of my research videos, and that is a vintage Trafari, Alfred Felipe. This is Lucite Jelly Shell Brooch and Earrings Rare Set. And here you can see it's in the original box. Absolutely gorgeous clear shell set. This one sold for $1,019.99. It was an auction. It got 22 bids. Now, here are the earrings. On the back, you can see that Trafari with the crown. Very, very easy to read. This one looks like it is actually a fur clip, but it does have that clasp for it to be a brooch as well. And let's take a look. 22 bids, and we will see where this one started at. The auction was a seven-day auction. There were 15 different bidders, and we will scroll down and see. It started at $95, so just under $100 into $1,019. So Trafari is a name to watch out for on all different kinds of pieces of jewelry. Here is another name I think you all should be familiar with. This is a vintage Hobay sterling blue glass heart earrings and statement pin. The tassel is so, so cute on this little brooch here. This one sold for a best offer on $1,190. You can see they do have the earrings as well as the brooch. And we will see here if they have got the back. These, I do not see a marking on the earrings. And let's see if there is a marking on that pendant. And I do not see one. So this looks to be an unmarked Hobay set. Unless I see the sterling there. Maybe the Hobay is on the other side. Or it's so, I think that's the sterling again. Uh, so this one might be an unmarked set. So if you found something like this, hopefully you would be able to identify it using Google Lens as a Hobay piece. You can also post stuff like this in vintage jewelry collectors, Facebook groups, because they would be able to help you to identify it. Here is another name that we are familiar with, and that is Marcel Boucher. This is a Phoenix bird, and it does say Bird of Paradise brooch and earring set. 
here are the earrings that are not overly impressive. The set sold for a best offer on $1,250. Oh, these are kind of cool. Look at that. The clip, it clips on the back and on the front. So let's see here. You can see a number there. I'm looking for that MB. I'm not seeing the MB. Let's see if it's on the earrings. There it is on the earrings. Boucher. Very, very clear and great sale. So another name that should be in your notebook for jewelry brands or designers to keep an eye out for. Aha is one that we have come across occasionally in our research. Not a lot. So I feel like these are probably more rare pieces. This is a vintage Reha green rhinestone wisteria grapevine flower brooch and earrings sold for a best offer on $1,259. We will scroll through here and take a look. And you can see there is some wear here. So again, these brooches don't need to be in perfect condition, nor do the earrings for them to sell for big money. I am not seeing these marked Reha. So this might be another piece of unmarked. And again, if you have pieces you think are valuable, post them in a vintage jewelry group over on Facebook. And I'm sure you will have a lot of experts in there that are able to help. Up next, there are not a lot of pictures of this, but I wanted to show you. This is a har. It does say it's signed. A Buddha. Really, really cool. Look at the earrings. It's also got the necklace and the bracelet. This is a piece I would hope would catch your eye. It definitely would catch mine. And this one was a great sale at $1,289. And this one was a buy it now. Another designer I feel you should be familiar with if you've been watching my videos. This is one of my favorite designers. This is a Miriam Haskell sign set. Vintage gilt amber with a collar necklace as well as the earrings. Again, the earrings by themselves on here are not going to be as valuable, obviously, but they still will have quite a bit of value if you were to find just the earrings. And here we can see these are all marked. It's hard to see it on the earrings, but there up top, you can see that Miriam Haskell. This one is in excellent condition. Beautiful, beautiful piece of jewelry and a great sale at $1,358. Eisenberg is a name I haven't been seeing come up as often in these higher dollar videos. This is a set with a brooch and earrings. It was an auction, sold for $1,414. So Eisenberg is still something to watch out for, but be very, very careful when you are picking it up because a lot of it is not overly valuable. This piece is sterling. It does say Eisenberg original there. It being sterling definitely will give it some more value. Here are those earrings, very, very simplistic earrings. And this is a great, great set. You can see they do show where they found it in the book. It is a poinsettia, poinsettia brooch. And 15 bids on this one sold for $14.14. It was a seven-day auction. And this one started at $699. So it doubled from the starting price in a week. So watch out for Eisenberg Ice, especially if they are sterling pieces. Up next is a pair of Cartier. So Cartier is one of the names to watch out for in empty boxes as well. These Cartier clip-on earrings sold for $1,416. And most of these pictures are actually quite a bit out of focus, but they still sold that high. Here, I do want to show you, it does say that they are ladies, jadeite, diamond, ruby, and synthetic ruby, signed Cartier. And I don't see where they gave them a price on here. Let's go ahead. I think they were just trying to show the carat weight and that the stones were actual rubies. This one got three bids. Let's see. 
I don't see where they're saying where it was valued at a certain amount. That's what I was trying to see. So this one got three bids. It was a seven day auction. It was started at 800. So it almost doubled only three bidders on it. And this is something that might be worse since this one had the Jadeite and the Ruby. If it is a Cartier, it is something that might be worth taking to somebody to get an appraisal like that and to show that those gemstones are real. Another name that I feel is falling in value here in the last six months, and that is a Shriner. This is a Shriner ruffle brooch with the matching earrings. You can see that cabochon in the middle matches those earrings perfectly this one was a buy it now it sold for 1800 brooches like this about a year ago were selling for about three to four thousand dollars so the price definitely has fallen this one is an unsigned piece but is a classic shriner ruffle brooch beautiful beautiful stones on this one and great sale at 1800 but again quite a bit down from where shriners were selling last year all right more trafari and again trafari is holding or gaining in value from what i've seen this one was an auction it got 37 bids and sold for 1825 dollars the condition on this one is absolutely beautiful. I do not see many flaws at all on this. And you can see they do zoom in and show all of those pictures. Beautiful, beautiful brooch as well as the earrings. There is your Trafari with the crown on these earrings. They are clip-on earrings and they do show them on. So let's take a look. We got 37 bids. This one was a 10-day auction, and it was started at $49.99. So $50 into $1,800. Watch for Trafari. The earrings, the brooches, the necklaces, they can be very, very valuable. This is a beautiful Marcel Boucher set with the necklace as well as clip-on earrings. This one was another auction, got 42 bids, sold for $1,925. This would be a beautiful Christmas necklace for somebody to wear as well as those earrings. We'll take a look here. This is another in immaculate condition and they don't always have to be. They will, some of them will still sell. There is the Boucher, very, very clear on the back of the earring. And let's see. Yep, there you go. There's the Boucher as well as a number on the back of the necklace. So this one got 42 bids and we will take a look and see. It was a seven day auction. This one started at 100 and $45. So 10 times the amount on the starting bit of this one. Keep an eye out for Marcel Boucher. That's another one that seems to be popping up more and more in the high dollar sales. Next is this really cool vintage Trafari set. And I say really cool because it has the original tags and card. So you can see it says Jewels by Trafari. It was $5 and it looks like it was marked through. It must have been on sale. Crazy. Advertised in Mademoiselle. And this set sold for $2,001. This is a bracelet and earring set. Like new condition. Let's take a look. It got 20 bids. It was a seven day auction. And this one started at $10. How crazy is that? $10 up to 2001. Now, if you take a look here, this one jumped from 148 up to almost $2,000. And then the winning bidder came in at 2001 which is, and that was right at the end of the auction. They bid and won this set and amazing, amazing sale. All right. I think this is one of my favorite sets in this video. I love this blue. This is a vintage Christian Dior 1958. 
It is a necklace as well as earrings and a brooch. This one was an auction, sold for $2,144. Here you can see it up close. This is just absolutely gorgeous. There is your Christian Dior signature. That one, you can actually see the bottom of the necklace as well as the brooch. And I'll go over to the earrings here. And you can also see Christian Dior in 1958 there. Very, very nice set. And this one got 20 bids. We'll take a look. And it was a seven-day auction. And this one started at $699. So I will tell you if you are going to sell jewelry, I do recommend starting it at the lowest price you're willing to take. You start it at 99 cents and somebody gets it for 99 cents and you'll be upset about that. Don't do that. This one was started at 700, but went all the way up over that $2,000 mark. Up next is another Miriam Haskell. Beautiful, beautiful set. This one does say book set, and I have quite a few of you ask me what a book set is. So all that it means if it says it's a book piece is that it is a piece of vintage jewelry that has been featured in some costume collecting jewelry book. It could be on just that maker. It could be a collage book of different sets but it was featured in a book somewhere. So this one, they accepted a best offer on $22.50. They only have two pictures front and back, but you can see on these clip-on earrings, they are clearly marked Miriam Haskell. I do not see it on the necklace, but a lot of times on the necklace, it might be on that piece that is on the inside and a great sale at over $2,000. Well, it is surprising that this is the first listing that is only earrings and it is up in the top 10, almost the top five of the highest selling. This is a vintage pair of Chanel white and green Grippoy or Grippois, which simply means glass flower clip on earrings. They sold for $2,450. Look at how gorgeous these are. Underneath there, I can see the Made in France and Chanel. If it's me, I typically am going to flip up that earring and make sure I show that signature. But amazing, amazing sale. This one was a buy it now at $2,450. All right, we are up to our top five. This is a name that I am not familiar with. This is a Christopher Walling. These are 18 karat gold. So that of course contributes to the value. But if I saw these, I would not have thought that. That is why I wanted to make sure to put them in this video. Again, they accepted a best offer on $29.95. Just wanna scroll through here. These are Biwa pearls, if you do not know. Biwa pearls are pearls that have no true center and they are regularly shaped like this. And here is the side. Now on the back, these are clearly marked Walling and 18K. You can get lucky and find gold in some of your estate lots. I actually just went through a set earlier today and found, I believe, four or five gold pieces. So they can be in there. And again, these aren't a pair that I would have really stopped and looked at. I will now if I see something similar. So here you can see they are pointing out a flaw in that earring and still sold for almost $3,000. All right. These sets are always mixed. Mint. These sets are always taken some people don't like them. I don't I don't know how to properly say that. This is a vintage Crown Trafari Sorrento baby tooth pearl rhinestone necklace earring set. So these pearls look like baby teeth and some people don't like that. This one was an auction, got 51 bids and sold for $4,054. So here you can see these up close and let's see, I don't see the trafari mark 
It might be there, but we can't see it. It does say excellent condition. See below for further details. Gorgeous, gorgeous Trafari. Watch for the baby teeth pearls. Those do sell high. Let's take a look. This one got 51 bids. It was a seven day auction with 19 different bidders. They did do a private listing and this one started at 99 cents. They are brave. 99 cents all the way up to $4,000. Amazing, amazing sale. All right, another listing with just earrings, and it's coming in at $5,800. Vintage Iconic CC's Chanel Heart Clip on Earrings made of black ebony. $5,800 for a pair of earrings. I have two pairs of Chanel earrings listed myself right now. Mine are more around the $500 mark with Chanel. And here you can see the back of that one. You do want to research because they could be worth a couple hundred or a few thousand like these. So gorgeous, gorgeous earrings. Look up the Chanel earrings if you were lucky enough to find them. And this was an amazing sale at $5,800. And I do want to say these are not a precious metal, not a precious metal. All right, we are up to our top two. These earrings are Van Cleef and Arpels. Now, they are 18 karat gold, so that does contribute, but these are small earrings. If they were just regular and non-branded, they would not sell for almost $6,000. But the Van Cleef and Arpels... shamrock shape spade earrings necklaces everything and you can see this one does have ah the ebay authenticity guarantee so these will be authenticated before they go to the buyer that does provide another layer of protection for both the seller and the buyer and an amazing sale at fifty eight hundred dollars all right the highest selling is a costume piece and it is a set and it is an amazing set. This is a Juliana D and E Easter egg pillowcase corn kernel plus brooch and earrings. Best offer on $6,500. Look at this. This has the original Juliana tag. That is why most Juliana, not most, but all Juliana pieces are not marked. They only had the hang tag like you see here. It is only on the bracelet, but we will take a look through. You want to make sure to take pictures. And this is actually, it's five sets. So that is why it sold for so much. And I think they probably would have made more money by separating these. I didn't realize when I put this up here that it was more than one set. It is. It is five sets with earrings and brooch. So about a thousand dollars a set and a great, great sale. That last sale, I would have separated them. There is no way I would sell five high dollar brooch and earring sets as a lot. No way. All right, that is everything. Next Sunday, we will be doing down to $500 earrings and jewelry sets. So keep an eye out for that one. Again, throw me some ideas down in the chat if you would like to see a particular research video. And as you're looking through the comments, hit the thumbs up if you agree with the suggestions. That way I will know how many people are interested in what things. And my videos will still be coming out twice a week, Thursdays and Sundays most times, unless something comes up, which it does occasionally. I appreciate you watching. Please make sure you're still subscribed. Have that bell notification turned on. And I will see you on the next one. I shut my eyes, trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming.